Hi, my name is Rachel Andrews and this is Cookie. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought we'd take a little look at getting Cookie, my five month old Cocker Spaniel, to go swimming. And uh, I thought we'd run through, uh, well, I'll show you how we've got on in the last week. Seems she's getting pretty eager. You might be wondering why uh, I even think it's necessary to teach my dog how to swim, because obviously she is a natural swimmer, as all dogs are. But I don't want it to be just an emergency activity for her. I'd love it if she could come swimming with me and maybe feature on a video or two, but more just for me and her to have some fun together. So we're gonna have a little look at how, to, how I'm trying to get Cookie happy with wearing a life jacket. While she's not looking, I'll have a quick word about the life jacket we've got. It's an easy dog. Um, life jacket and, I don't know what the size is. Uh, this size is XS and she's a Cocker Spaniel puppy who is nearly five months old. So I'm trying to get her used to it. You'll notice I've put this mat on the floor. That's because she knows good stuff happens on the mat. So we're gonna have a little go at trying to put it on. Cookie. Yes. Good. Yes. The aim of this and giving her loads of treats while I'm doing it is to try and get her feeling comfortable and almost forgetting that the life jacket is on. She's yet to put her paws in the water properly and certainly hasn't been uh, immersed, although she has had the odd shower. Um, and she has recently been to the groomers, which is why she's so fluffy. So I'm gonna try and get her into the water wearing this, uh, but I thought we'd practice in the garden first to make sure she's happy. Here we are a few minutes later. She's been running around the garden and she seems totally happy. This is the second jacket we've had. With our previous dog, we had their first rendition which is this one. And you can see there's been a vast improvement because this one, you really had to bend to get it to mold around the dog and then pass these parts through and do them up. It really was a bit of a hassle. Although it looks like she wants to try it on. Um, so I think Easy Dog have come up with a much, that their next version is much slimmer and closer to the dog. And I think appears to be quite a lot more comfortable. We've got a little bit of a break in the weather today and it is not lashing it down like it has been all morning. So I'm gonna take Cookie and we're gonna go and have a go at that first swim. I've heard that there's not much wind down at the coast, so we're gonna go and have a look. Cookie is really quite a nervy little dog and I want to do the best I can to introduce her gently and in a positive way to going outdoor swimming, much as I would to anybody who came for a swim with me. It's all about getting out before she's thinking I'm desperate to get out. Now, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out with, uh, with a puppy, but we're gonna do our best. I've got a, a load of treats that she likes, bits of sausage and things chopped up so that I can reward her as things go well along the way. But there's no pressure. If she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. But uh, I've got my fingers crossed this will be a positive experience. I know from previous experience when you're in the water with a dog, uh, if you're at the same level as them, the likelihood is they might want to clamber all over you. So just to protect myself from her scratches, I've got uh, a thick um, long sleeve top on.
well so much my prediction that it would be sunnier down the beach it is lashing it down but i can see a little bit of uh, a break in the cloud so i'm hoping it'll be enough for cooking i to give it a go i'm hoping also at that stage the wind will drop but uh, who knows a bit of a letdown so far Cookie doesn't seem to care though. Are you bothered, Cooks? Well, the wind and the rain have eased off a little bit, so we're going to give it a crack. Even though it's a little bit of ripples, I think we'll be all right. What I really wanted to do is walk in by herself. Um, I've got the treats to, uh, to help that along. Let's see how we go. Would you prefer to swim when it's sunny, with no wind? Yeah, I bet you would. Well, that was quite a lot of fun over a fairly dreary weekend. And I think we had quite a lot of success there. For me, the things that worked well were the buoyancy aid fitted nicely. I'll pop a link to that in the description below. Um, I paid her profusely, which is something I've learned at puppy class. So every time something went well, I gave her some more biscuits and I took it at her pace so that if she didn't want to do it and she wanted to come out, then I just followed her out and that was fine. Um, we're definitely going to keep trying at this and just keep, uh, keep getting in and um, gently increasing the swimming, hopefully to the point where we can swim together. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have you'll give it a like drop me a comment and let me know how you get on swimming with your dog and if you have enjoyed it please consider subscribing to my channel uh, by clicking on my face and dinging the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>